Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Kimbo here, and it's time for an epic little mini Bakugan unboxing montage. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get into it. Um, we got this, first of all. So, picked up an Armored Alliance uh, Drago Tratteris. I picked up another Drago Nidus. Because, honestly, like, uh, it doesn't have that bad of stats and such, and it's a really, really fun Bakugan to use, and also Drago Nidus. I've got some ideas in mind. Uh, yeah, I have reviewed it before. That's why I'm going and do it, like, really, really quickly. If you want to check out the full detailed review, feel free to go and do so. But, uh, yeah, dude. So, I'm going to get the cards out of there. Do, 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 do. And then, of course, these freaking plastic strips. My goodness. If I can get it. Ah, crap. This one's being a fighter. Whoa, Nelly. I don't know. Anyways, boom. And then... Gotta get Drago Nidus out of there. You know, Drago Tritorus. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so of course, seen it before, you know, uh, with the unboxings I've done. I even got the 1 in 500 version. Totally blessed to have it in my collection, man. Just so, so epic. But uh, get that plastic strip out of there. So it's B Power uh, 300, you know, and it has the regular uh, magic shield with it. So we can get to 950 right away. But of course, the fusion, how the fusions are, they're fusion cores that definitely back them up and make them that much stronger, which is how they keep the balance with the fusions. And it's a much different way to do so. Because fusion cores, if we're talking technically B Power wise, the absolute strongest. The fusion magic shield adds plus 800. So it shows fusions are definitely still very viable. But yeah, and I think some of them are definitely slept on big time. Uh, but yeah. Pyrus, Darkest, Drago, Treteris, looking so, so awesome, man. You know, of course, having the big-time resemblance to Leonidas. That's why I call it Dragonitis for anybody that doesn't know. That's why I call it Dragonitis, because this looks so much like Leonidas from the video game. Um, yeah, no, the first era video game. And then the second era, apparently, they thought of working on a ball form for it, and they should. They definitely still should. And uh, make it into a thing. Or maybe they won't just, you know, well, for the original Leonidas, they won't. You know, and this is like their way of paying homage for sure. Like, you can't tell me they weren't thinking of Leonidas when they made this design. It's so similar. Uh, but yeah, honestly, for the Leonidas in the new video game, they should definitely make a ball form for it. Yeah, don't make the same mistake twice. Definitely want to see that in a ball form, hands down. But there is Pyrus Darkest Drago Treteris in its ball form. And then, of course, having uh, the card with it. Got how core Ramparian right there, but 100, 400, 200, 0, 300, and 500. So Aquas and Darkest uh, getting big time boost with this. And then it is a fusion gate card. So, you know, you land on it, your fusion Bakugan gets its fusion. So that's really cool. But yeah, man, that's the way they have the fusions implemented in the standard way of playing the game. I always wondered what the F stood for, but obviously it's fusion. So they get the fusion as soon as they land on it. So that's a big time boost. But yeah, and then the cores that come with it, fusion Bakugan getting plus eight. And then uh, Fusion Bakugan getting plus 800. Like I was saying, this is the strongest, like B-Power wise, this is the strongest core in the game. And it only works for Fusion Bakugan. So, yeah, keeping that balance and such. So they might have lower uh, B-Power and such, even with their Fusions, but these cores help them out big time. It's a different way of keeping the balance. You know, but yeah, so boom, that opening action for Drago Nidus. You already know, Drago Triteris. Looking so sick. And then we have the actual card for it. So. On this side, it's three for its fusion, so honestly, really low cost. Uh, Magic Shield, Flame Fist. Uh, yeah, and then flip it over, 1,005. So three costs, you can get it up to 1,805, and that's pretty strong. So uh, yeah, man, I definitely want to sleep on this bad boy. It's a very strong uh, fusion Bakugan. But yeah, so I'll set that off to the side. And then we've got one more thing here. So this is this envelope, and I am opening this obviously on video like normally i'll get some cards they are cards by the way i would get some cards and just it would depend if i open them on screen or not but yeah for this case we'll open it here because i got this from my bud justin you already know um sadly he decided to quit the game which makes me sad you know but i mean it's one of those things my honest opinion on it it's understandable why people do go especially with the frustrations on the tcg and such and spin master you're doing really well with the figures with the actual bakugan even the geo gun and such and even with like armored alliance with the baku gear bakugan and stuff it was so so awesome the main thing is just getting those cards out there no obviously events and such have probably hindered something and made it where it's harder to get them but definitely don't give up on the tcg and obviously that latest uh tweet saying there's no new info on it right now the way it was worded definitely wasn't good, but hopefully that means just for right now and in the future, you know, we'll really soon 
they do really focus on the cards because you can bring a lot of people back with that. Like, legit, <laughs> you know, you have the Bakugan, but naturally getting the Bakugan. Um, yeah, some of them having Evos and such. You know, people want to get their hands on the cards and be able to play the TCG aspect too because it's just so amazing, man. And definitely Spin Master, don't give up on it, please. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just an absolute gem. You have an absolute gem here. It's just about getting it out to people. So, yeah, but we have a bunch of cards in here. Uh, yeah, man. So, let's see. I guess, yeah, okay, they're just uh, dividers. So, extra stuff. Oh, you include a bunch of, okay, include a bunch of extra stuff with it. So, is this, like, okay. Okay, that's, that's the extra stuff. But, all right, so, here we go. A lot of it's, like, hollow hex. I'm not one of those brawlers that, you know, like, oh, hey, I really need a hollow hex version. Of I know some people do, and... You know, totally understandable why, because the hollow hexes look really, really sick, man. But I'm just like, I just try to get the card, you know, hollow hex or not. But yeah, I got Holy Flame, of course, really good for regular fist decks. Uh, there we go, Holy Flame, then Wave Slash plus 300, and then the Flow for plus 1,000. But yeah, in a Flow deck, this is honestly a really, really nice card. I have that plus 1,000. But got Wave Slash. Um, they got Liquid Dart, so plus 400, Arliss Power. Two less to play it, so literally one cost plus 400. Really epic. Um, yeah, then deep dive, draw a card, and reroll. All right, got three of those. Hyper Cubbo right here, 306. Magic Shield or Flame Fist, uh, plus 800. So, yeah, I mean, Hyper Cubbo, Aquas Hyper Cubbo in general. Aquas Cubbo is a beast, probably the strongest Cubbo. But now some of the cosplay Cubbos are honestly pretty strong too, so don't sleep on them. But yeah, uh, Tides plus 200 flow, plus 400. Yeah, man, Dark Waters plus 200 and re-roll. And then we got Shun. When you open a Bakugan, you can draw a card. You know, it's a play set of all of them. Mysterious Mist, uh, Arliss, Aqu well, Arliss, Chaos, Pyrus stopped. Yeah, it's usually like, you know, some play set. Some people use like a full play set, like all three cards. Usually when I'm deck building and just for future reference, for people that get frustrated and such, you know. I usually use two of a copy of a card. If I use three, uh, I rarely use three, but, you know, it shows it really, really is effective for the deck if I'm using three. So, yeah, but Flooding Waters, plus 200 for each. Aqua's back on your team. Uh, greater Water Boost, getting that plus 100. But zero cost, so helping to trigger flow. Hurricane Winds, plus 300 Bs. You can play an action card that costs four energy or less for free. So it's really nice. Uh, yeah, I got Blinding Ink, Negate, an action card that costs three or less. And then we got Strata. All players draw an additional card each turn. Which, you know, getting some more ammo out there. We got Quick Fire. Make a Pyrus attack for one. And then reroll. Got those. We got Song of Fire. You already know. Big time trigger. Because that plus five energy. That plus five hanging energy that you could use. Turn three. Helps trigger a lot of stuff. Then we got Might of Cindius, Plus one. Victor decided by highest damage. Set of B power. You already know Might of Cindius. Like some damage decks. Got that. And we've got Dan Kuzo. Yeah. Got some Dans, man. It's been a while. It's how it looks sick. But when you open a Bakugan, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's not a flip card, you may play it for free. So, yeah, man. You already know it's about to get real with these cards. And then we got the bonuses in here. So, uh, let's see. Chaotic Darkness. Choose a player to discard a card. Six in that. Heck yeah, man. Chaotic Darkness is nice. Cycling Madness. Uh, draw a card and, and your opponent discards a card. Then return this to the bottom of your deck. Getting rid of some of your opponent's ammo. It's kind of playing in their favor if they have a Fury deck. But if not, then gives you a big time edge. Uh, Shade Blade plus two. Zero cost, of course. Getting a little bit of damage in there. Stone Skin plus 200. Sacrifice for plus 800. Got that. Sonic Shield. Uh, fist and Flame Fist stopped. Really nice flip. Then Mind Slip. Choose a player to discard a card and re-roll. And then we got Hyper Garganoid Ultra. So, three cost, but 905 lands on a Flame Fist. It gets plus 700. So, yeah. I actually did use this in my... Uh, 
in my first uh, deck profile. You know, the Fury deck, yeah, it's got Arliss Garganoid Ultra in it. It's just so, so awesome. But, yeah, man. And then, last but not least, we got Fierce Charge 3 cost, but it stops non Arliss. So, yeah, dude. That is everything for this little mini uh, Bakugan unboxing montage you know got some more cards so you know i'm gonna be focusing on deck building we're 10 decks away from the big 100 man it's crazy just thinking that dude but you already know got a lot of inspiration there's gonna be a lot of uh profiles coming and such i also have to get caught up on the show you know it's been adulting a lot and got a few things to get caught up with uh bakugan wise but yeah, you're going to be seeing them really, really soon. But hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing montage. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So, yeah, guys, till next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Till then, stay awesome. And Bakugan, bro, I'm about to here.